also sort of uh, racial disparities. So you'll find that uh, amongst the Caucasians, that number might drop down to about 1 in 12. Uh, amongst the Asians, it's sort of about 1 in 16 to 1 in 20. And amongst the uh, uh, black African, you're looking at about 1 in 32 to 1 in 40. It is it is difficult to to quantify this on a more accurate level. You know, we do not have the best of cancer registries, so there is a bit of underreporting and overreporting. So a lot of this are estimates. Uh, you know, the truth of the matter is we don't know. Um, you know, everything about this disease, and uh, although we we have stats out there, I think it's more important to understand that every female is at risk, irrespective of what their, their sort of uh, racial risk mm -hmm. might be. Uh, all we know is that if you are born a female and you are deciding to advance in age, that natural risk is going to come into play at 40, and in, in some patients even much younger than that. And, and that, that risk, unfortunately, is lifelong. So it's, it's just uh, being aware that, that uh, this is something that's going to affect some, uh, most females at some point in their life, either directly or indirectly. And whilst it's 1 in 27 on average uh, for South African women, uh, it's a fallacy that men uh, are not uh, in a risk category because men can develop breast cancer. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, look here, the, 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 uh, the uh, sort of uh, uh, men are about 1.5%, 0.5 to 1.5. That's about 1 in 200 to about sort of 1 in 100 female uh, uh, patients uh, will be males. So males do develop breast cancer. There are certain genetic predispositions that, that will lead to uh, uh, males developing breast cancer. So it is there. Unfortunately, with, with males, like, uh, like everything in life, we take a lot of things for granted. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, they do present much later. They don't get investigated when they feel a lump. You know, you, you know, if, it, if it's not uh, uh, sort of affecting you too much, you just let it be. So unfortunately, the males that do present with breast cancer usually present fairly late. Uh, and that, that uh, you know, just more awareness needs to be made to, to, uh, to this uh, disease entity. However, it doesn't fall into the top 10 cancers affecting males in South Africa. So, but it's there. Right, and that's the important thing, you know. And it's interesting you mentioned because sometimes the, the macho-ness in men, uh, for whatever reason, prevents them from going to have certain things investigated early on. Uh, 